Um, right, or listen, this could be a good news story. This yeah. could be a good news story. Apparently, thousands of American women mm. have vowed to stop sleeping with men. Oh. Okay, following President Donald Trump's victory. Um, they were inspired by the radical feminist movement called 4B, I think mm, they're from called, Korea. Yeah, no, Koreans. Korea. Can you be inspired by anything from Korea? Uh, no, not really. Uh, which is huge, apparently. So let's talk to uh, Aisha Ali Khan, who is a women's rights campaigner. Uh, is it Aisha or Aisha? I should ask you Aisha, first of all. Aisha. 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 There's no such pardon. name as Aisha. Isn't there? No. All right, okay. Um, Aisha, uh, tell me more about this story. I mean, is it true for a start? Uh, so, gosh, yes. Um, there's been a huge, obviously, amount of upset um, when um, the results came in Tuesday morning, uh, UK time. So, yeah, a lot of the women have responded, a lot of American women have responded with um, this idea of following this 4B movement, which, which gained traction, gained popularity in uh, Korea, South Korea. So basically, um, the premise of this is there's going to be no sex, no relationships. It's sex um, fascism. Could you be quiet for a moment? Or they I don't like democracy. That's I'm, the sorry. Trouble. I sh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this isn't about oh. democracy. Yeah. This is actually quite Just a be quiet topic. for a minute. Just shut um, up. Democracy, wasn't it? Talk stupid so, some of the time. Democracy. So we're, talking, this program. we're basically saying oh, sorry, that Aisha, a lot of the, the women have decided um, in order to safeguard their bodies, because this is a very important topic, and it was one of the hottest topics mm. in the is sort it? of um, campaign trail. Yeah. Um, abortion rights, access to abortion, access yeah. to reproductive. Yeah. Um, why? Uh, why did? Why did she lose the election if she's so hot? Oh, by the way, just before we do that question, you know this this world, this planet we live in, and everybody's going on about green issues. Uh, and the biggest problem is we've got too many human beings on the planet. So women saying no might thing, be a yeah. jolly good thing for yes. uh, all those people who want to make the yeah. world greener. We're with not, you. not quite. If you actually look at the sort of birth rates in the western part of the world, they've been falling. And we, this is a real concern. Because we can't a, afford anything. Concern. This is a real concern. No one wants that, that could be, that no could family. genuinely be a reason. Um, but this, the falling birth rate, can I just, is very important now because this isn't just in the UK. We're talking about the Europe. We're talking about America. We're talking about quite westernized uh, countries. Right, right, right. The birth rate is definitely falling. It's happening all over the world. It's happening in, in Asia. It's happening in Japan. Apparently in, in countries like Japan, guys are not they're not really getting jiggy with women like that anymore i don't know why you know they'd rather play video games or rather just focus on work so the fact that you have all these american women actually coming forward stepping forward and saying we're not gonna have sex with men anymore because because trump is in power that's just it's outrageous it's preposterous come on it's not that the country is going to end just because Trump is in power. Kamala Harris needed what? Like, like 4 million votes to win. 4 million votes. He's 4 million votes. I'm pretty sure they were made up of many, many women and many, many men. I'm pretty sure they were even made up of individuals who would describe themselves as liberal. So you can't just be pointing a finger and saying men are the cause of this issue. You can't be pointing a finger and saying men are the reason Trump is in power. Obviously, there are plenty of women that voted for Trump. The Europe, we're talking about America, we're talking about quite westernized uh, countries that need um, a viable workforce. Yeah. And if people are not having babies from like sort of 18 years from now, uh, we're going to see we're going to see the impact of this. And it's not just obviously workforce. Would you, would you it's make about it? People that carers, hang, that hang for the elderly. Yeah. Would you make um, it? Would you make it a? Uh, uh, a compulsion, compulsorily, you have got to have a child before you reach the age of 25. Would you do that? No, no, no. That, that Are would you be sure? Unfair. No, absolutely. Look, we're not living 
doing the handmade tales like that's how it feels uh, the mm. plot of the the sort of dystopian novel um it does feel like that a little bit but this yeah. is not something that Why? you can force women to have babies we don't need people oh, we've got ai no, no, coming and playing. robots that will, will be doing be the quiet? jobs in the future i am getting upset with him seriously now, not so quite I, that, seriously you still need to have you still need to have women who are going to yeah. give birth let me listen babies. let me otherwise we'll be here at four o'clock in the morning talking about this because i excuse i'm getting no, i'm gonna go i'm sacking. before then he might be i'm sacking him um the, the fact is that you, you say you're very upset and the world is very upset. Looking at the statistics in America. American uh, women are very upset. Most voted for Trump, that, though, didn't they? This is, this is something that uh, has most been... Most voted for Trump. Online 50, with, with 53%, American. in fact, 60% of women... I don't want to bring race into it, no. thank you. No, no, 60, No, 60% of women voted for Trump. This time round, sixty percent. So, well, maybe because they want an excuse not together, to have sex. Maybe that to was be the honest, But okay. I mean, look, I can't understand. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and try to justify or try to understand well, why really knows, some but... people. Uh... Well, you are trying to justify it. You're trying to say that men are the reason Trump is in power. You're not accounting for the sixty percent of women that voted for Trump. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely preposterous. And now, and now my voice is reaching a full set out. And this lady's not even American. Why is she defending something she's not even a part of? She's not even a part of this issue. She's not even a part of the American population. And yet she's what, a campaigner? Do you want to know why 60% of women voted for Trump? They voted for Trump because they believe he was the better candidate. They believe he would make for a better president. I've said this before, Kamala Harris, very nice lady, very nice lady, but is she believable? And, uh, I'm not going to sit here and try to justify or try to understand well, why really knows, some people, uh, yeah, absolutely. Because Kamala really Harris supports women and competing against women in athletics and letting men go in dressing rooms. That's, That's a right. separate How's topic. How's that for women? Women's rights. What we need Let to talk about oh. is the rights of women Next time that be are hard. struggling to have to gain access, especially since like two and a half years ago, it we had uh, we overturned Roe v. Wade, um, the sort of act that allowed women to access abortion up to 24 weeks of pregnancy. Since then, it's a lot more important. Thing. Sorry, kids. I agree with yeah. abortion. I think if you want to get rid of a child. Do it. I think it's your body, nobody else. I agree Not with that. Not up to nine months or but, eight months, though. No, well, it depends on whether the health... Depends yeah. whether the health of the, you know... Oh, well, you, that, yeah, but if it's know, a healthy but, baby, I'm yeah. saying. And, and to be honest, if somebody wanted to get rid of a child at that time, they could deliver it and have it adopted, probably. Mm, exactly. That's but... Right. A lot of women who want to get rid of their, their child, who want an abortion, are probably not yeah. uh, the sort of woman you would want to be brought up by anyway. So, you know. I, I think that's really unfair. I think there's lots of issues there. Women wanting abortions is not just a form of, I mean, it's a very simple, simplified argument. Well, you know, you've, you've had sex. It's not the only reason. I'm just saying that but I think. But there are women out there who genuinely want to have the baby, but for some for medical reasons and so on, the, the fetus isn't viable or their health is at well, risk. Well, that's different, so There are many reasons that women choose. And it's a, it's a horrendous decision. It's not something that people, that women make easily. And it's something that we have to show right. compassion. Understand but it's not listen, women as this well. is this is not by no means the main uh thing that people are, are talking about mm. uh, let's be honest about it. I've, I've been a little facile let's be honest about this um donald trump winning and becoming the president of america has suddenly changed this world into a safer and possibly more prosperous place. And why, I think that's, why a, that's, are a, so, that's a point of view, and I don't know if many people are going to agree with you, but if that's your view... They all agree with me. It's a fact. fact. There were no right. wars when Trump was in power. It's a fact. It's not a point of view. Yeah. And uh, we'll see. We've got, we've got two major uh, wars happening right yeah. now. We've got why, the Ukraine why? and Russia war. Mm -hmm. We've got the Israel uh, war against yeah. the Palestinians. So we'll, let's see well, what's no, going. no, no, sorry. You got that around the wrong way. It's the Palestinians against the Israelis. They mm -hmm. started it. But what is um, what is Israel finishing? This is a separate conversation we can have. Well, you started it, not me. I want to know why you were so upset and why women are so stupid as to say they're going to actually withhold sex. I mean, if they want to it's, withhold it's sex, stupidity. I'd be a bloke, I'd probably go. Right. It's not stupidity. I think every woman has a right to it's decide what she It's stupid to use it as an argument. You don't
right, right. Every woman has the right, but withholding sex because Trump is in power, <laughs> that's, that is pure insanity. So you're making a choice for your own body that you're not going to have sex with other men. As if Trump is the leader of all men. How, how does one man's decision impact the entirety of the country? <laughs> if you choose to not want to have sex with men, okay, that's your prerogative. I'm not even going to stop you. But the fact that you're doing it because of Trump, doesn't that say that Trump has power over you if you're making the decision based on the fact that he's in office? Based on what I read, you know, when, when Trump was in power the last time, the economy grew even larger. The American economy grew even larger. The guy seems to know what he's doing when it comes to financial matters. I've already said that I don't believe what the Republicans are doing with this whole abortion law is the smartest thing. I'll be the first to admit that. There are health implications. There are major, major health implications. It's not stupidity. I think every woman has a right to it's decide what to she does. It's stupid to use it as on. an argument. You don't need to say, I'm, you know, if, you, if you're going to start withholding sex, I'm going to start doing it too. You do something I don't like, we're not going to have you're sex. You're not really going to withhold sex, That's are you? completely missing the point. A lot of the women who've decided or who are thinking of doing this, oh. they're concerned about their health. They, they could die. If some women who've actually <laughs> fallen pregnant... You're going, so you're just making this about abortion? Yeah. Well, look, they've ended up miscarrying, they've ended up needing medical care. So, and so as far denied, as you're concerned, what do you think about Donald Trump's uh, actual uh, views on the state of the nation and how he's looking forward to improving the economy of America and improving the economy of America mm -hmm. will improve the economy of the world? Well, look, when you're fighting an election, you say all sorts of things. So we'll see. Look, well, why are you so stupid? No, hang on. In. That's the most stupid let's, thing let's anybody's wait ever until said. He becomes president. Let's wait until Trump actually does what he said. It's already proven because he was president. He is president now. It's proven he does what he said. He has to be sworn in. So actually, there is a president. <laughs> that's President Joe Biden. Really what? The, the old man will, who can hardly put two hand over in words January. together? That's when Trump will become president. I think you'll find that's, that's not how it works behind the scenes. I don't think you'll find that Biden or Harris or any of these other idiots, in my view, uh, will be able to do anything now because Trump has had an astounding win. Mm. Vast majority he's the of president. people. He's the president incumbent. So let's wait until he's He doesn't born. know that, though. Okay. Well, I can't well, tell aren't you, you what embarrassed the about, Aren't you embarrassed to come on a national show and have such a weak argument? I mean, Donald really Trump know. is going to I save the world. Why are you so anti? Forget abortion for a moment. I agree with you on that subject. Thank I think you. the only Thank person, you. the only person who should have any say, not even the the man who was involved, the only person who sh should have a say is the woman. Mm -hmm. It's her body. Thank she, you. That should be it. So I agree with you. Could you but please pass this message on to Trump supporters because there have been so many protests now. People are going on campuses. Men are going around saying that I, women are the property of men. They're saying things like your body, my choice. These are very only, only Islamists say things like that. They're, they're no, no, no. Them. Only Islamists as, as say things like that. And staunch Christians. Staunch Christians, staunch Who do you think voted for Trump, who do you think voted him in this time? On behalf of all women, um, a lot of black people, a lot of um, Hispanics. I mean, he, he won a landslide, didn't he? In yeah. all, in all, uh, in the popular vote, in everything. I mean, why? Absolutely. Why are there but so many? A listen. lot of the people, a lot of the men yeah. that are now going around chanting, "Your body, my well, choice." They're idiots. At women, but they're idiots. I'm are sorry. the reason why? They, I mean, they voted for Trump because I've they never heard them chanting that in this country. Well, you need to. You need to check the news. Where have they you chanted that in this in country? And in uh, universities, there's been a number of protests. But lots of idiots vote send, for Trump, like we'd vote for Harris. I can just... send the links to you if you yeah. do not believe me. I, I'd like, to, right I'd like to hear that. And it will get worse. It is going to get worse for women Rubbish. and certainly for Rubbish. men as well. Because and women Kamala Harris, it would have. have. I'm, sorry. Feel safe I'm, in their relationship. I'm sorry, but you are completely wrong in my view. You are That's talking nonsense. And I think Thank what you, you need to understand is probably the people you need to have a go at most which I do, are religious nutters. Mm. And yeah, you know, so the that voted yeah. for Trump, absolutely. Yes. No, who vote for we're anything? We're talking about the election, so we're talking you know, about that voting for Trump. Half yep. of America are not insane, or are you saying they are? Are you saying I'm half saying, of America's I'm insane? I'm not uh, qualified. Um, no, you're not. Goodbye, I've had enough. Thank you, take a break. Men are going around saying, your body, my choice. Obviously, they're trolling.
when they say that. Because I've heard that too. Well, guys are just trolling when they say that. And they're young and it's just like, you know, they're trying to trigger people. Obviously, they're not being serious. I hope American women don't do that because I had, pl I had plans of going to America literally next month. And I had plans on, you know, na 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 So, you know, if, if American women do decide to do that, what am I going to do? What about me, mate? What about me? I have, I have needs. What about me, mate? No, you can't be doing that. I'm, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm not going to stand for that. I go to America, things may be different. You know me, guys, Babatonde, Big Babs. They call me Big Babs. They call me Big Babs, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. You know, I don't really think women, American women, should allow another man to dictate how they feel. I've seen so many crazy videos of, of women, like, breaking down, crying, screaming. I gotta be honest, what are you doing? That, I guess you could always leave the country, but of course you're not gonna leave the country because let's keep it 100. America's one of the greatest countries in the world. So I, I just say, let's relax, let's watch this space. Things may change, you never know, you, you never know. And it's only gonna be four years. But guys, let me just leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later.